Good afternoon friends, I'm MJ, co-owner and head artist at IMO Customs and today I present before you this beautiful bike called Cerulean. Basically a Royal Enfield 350cc which has been customized the way you are seeing it here. And uh, to start with uh, Cerulean, the name suggests deep blue color of sky when the, when the sky is, is spotless clean. That is what this bike is, it is a clean looking bike, it has tinge of blue and white color to it. So we decided to give it uh, the same very name. To start with, this bike has a 19 inch at the front and uh, 15 inch at the back uh, wheels. 110 mm tire at the front and uh, 140 mm tire at the rear. So uh, to sum it up, uh, because of the tire combination itself, we get a nice uh, low seating uh, position for this motorcycle. It has a good ground clearance. If you see the mudguards of this motorcycle, they have been custom crafted. Uh, the front and the rear both are quite big heavy tires. So the mudguards had to be redone. And uh, if you notice, uh, the shape of the mudguard is such that it flows from uh, the front till the rear. Along with that, if you if you notice the, uh, the seats, these are uh, very comfortable custom made seats. The seat plate has been designed in an ergonomic way. Same is with the cushioning. The cushioning has been done especially to suit the, the customer's height and riding posture. If you see the handlebar, it is a it is an extended Electra handlebar, wherein uh, position is the same, but but still it it provides a broad riding position because front fork assembly has been broadened. So it was very essential for us to broaden the handlebar as well. The electricals of this bike has been kept very simple. Yet we have provided with uh, two fog lamps or auxiliary lamps. So these auxiliary lamps are uh, chosen in a way that they complement the, the headlight uh, casing. The rear tail light is a metal casted grill type tail light. Along with it we have uh, other red color LED indicators which would uh, go very well with this bike. If you notice carefully this motorcycle actually has a broad suspension uh, or front fork. So the reason of uh, having a broad suspension or front fork is that we wanted a heavy tire, a 110 mm tire to be precise on the front. When we increase the size of uh, the uh, front fork, we have to also extend the length of the front forks, otherwise the front forks actually sit back. So that is why if, if you notice this particular machine has the, has the front forks extended as well. Because of that reason, the bike has still maintained the ground clearance that it should have. Otherwise, the bike should have lost its ground clearance. So a lot of engineering practices has been followed and we are very happy to present this bike in front of you guys. Hope you guys liked it. Please do subscribe to our channel and please like our work and share it as well. Thank you. <laughs>